Beautiful namaste, yogis. Who's in for a little relief in the neck? This is a practice I learned from my friend Melissa, who also teaches with me here on the grassy knoll. So, you start by finding yourself in a comfortable seat. And then you just lift your right arm up, goal post the arm. And then you turn the palm to face forward and then extend your right arm nice and straight. Spread the fingers and then simply send the gaze over your left shoulder. And then stretch out through the thumb and the index finger, the third finger, the ring finger, the pinky. Big inhale. Exhale out everything. Send your gaze back forward. Drop the left hand down. Reach the right arm up and over your head. Tilt over, lean it on over. Drop the right sit bone, right knee. Spin the heart up towards the sky. Inhale right back to center. Keep that right arm extended. And then just drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. And extra credit, you might reach the left fingertips up, catch a hold of the right side of your skull, maybe down by the ear, and lift the left elbow. And ever so tenderly, you might adjust that stretch by pressing the fingertips into the skull and lengthening the crown of the head away from the right shoulder. Breathe. Tenderly release that left hand. Tenderly drop the right hand. Melt the chin down to the chest and then roll the right ear to the right shoulder and then chin back down to the chest, left ear, left shoulder. Little semi-circle here. Oh. Find your way back to center, drop the chin, gaze at the heart and then use your hands the thumbs lift the chin right back up to center so the head is right over the heart, shoulders over the hips, drop your hands back down. Actually turn the palms to face up as they rest on the thighs and take a few breaths here as you align the head with the heart. Breathe. Left side. Goal post. Turn the palm forward. And then extend and spread your fingers nice and wide and straighten out through that elbow joint. Right hand down along your side and send the gaze over now to the right as you breathe. Nicely done. Gaze back forward. From here, drop that right hand down and lift the left arm up and over your head. A little side bend. Ah. And generally, like the whole left body wants to come up as you lean over right. Drop the left sit bone down to find that stretch in the intercostal muscles. And you might spin the heart up towards the sky and the gaze up towards the sky. To Deepen the opportunity to find more breath in the tight spots. And guide your way back to center. That left arm reaches. This time, right ear down to the right shoulder. You might find the assist of that right hand finding the outer skull of the left. Like you can find those little bony crevices there and then gently press the neck long and let the left shoulder drop down and breathe. And then 
tenderly release that grip of the right hand. Drop the left hand down and a little semicircle. Chin finds its way down to the chest. Left ear over to left shoulder. Spin so that the right ear comes to the right shoulder. Feel free to stay with the semicircle, but you might be inclined as the shoulders drop back and down to drop the head back. The eyes feel soft and the breath feels soft. You'll know this is not a uber stretch. This is a subtle stretch, yes? kindness and gentleness of the alignments here this morning with this practice into this region of the neck with the energy center that the yogis call the Vishuddhi. One translation is to purify. And eventually the gaze drops down towards the heart. Breathe some beauty into your own heart. And then let the thumbs find their way to the chin. Find that assistance as you lift yourself up to that alignment of the head and the heart, the shoulders and the hips. Drop the hands down, turn the palms to face up and let the heart spin open as you find that beautiful alignment of the earth and the sky the head and the heart, the body and the soul. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seal that as your hands, palm to palm, find each other in that gesture of namaste. Yes. The love alignment in me connects with the love alignment in you. That is the head and heart connection. And that's the alignment of a yogi. Namaste.